So we've got a tail uh, first though, and the tire pressure light is on. Customer has changed one of the sensors and that will not clear without a full scan and clear. It has to be coded in. Um, so this is the old one as I can see, that's the old code and we need to see where that one is and replace it with a new so, one. So after doing a full scan, you've got to go on the tire pressure because Toyota seems to want every single one coded and you can't just code an individual. He wants all of it. So you go into the live data and then the one that we've got is 0766F42, 0766F42. It usually misses the zero, but you've got to add a zero. Um, so that's that. So if we come out of here, and then go into hot functions, and then tire pressure monitor, and then once it loads up, ID registration, <clears throat> now this is where you've got a you've got five minutes to actually input every single one so i'm gonna dig in as soon as it goes there we are here it is next and this is it's just giving you warning say five minutes you've got to register every single one so i've done each one um this is the last one to be fair so i'm gonna update you as we go along So it's complete according to our system and all we have to do to clear that we have to go back and do a full diagnostics kind of clear or you can just go on the tire pressure uh, section and just clear it off that but it shouldn't it used to flash as far as i know but it stopped now so all good